try an example. If I have an image that's 1800 pixels by 2700 pixels at 72 ppi, that tells me it's going to go on the internet or some sort of display device, how large is the image in inches? The formula would be 1800 pixels divided by 72, the number of pixels divided by the resolution, times the number of pixels tall divided by the resolution. The number on the bottom that you're dividing by, in this case 72, should always be the same. You cannot have an image that has a resolution of 72 inches across and 300 inches tall. It's going to be the same no matter what. 1800 pixels divided by 72 creates an image that is 25 inches tall. And 2700 pixels divided by 72 creates an image that's 37 inches tall. I'm sorry, I said tall for 25. It is 25 inches wide and 37 inches tall, which is way bigger than most people's computers. So what you should deduce from this, if you're working on an image for the internet, is that there are way too many pixels in this image, and then I need to crop it or resample it to make it smaller so people can actually see it when they open it up on their computer. Let's try another example. Uh, try number two on your own. If an image is 3,600 pixels by 5,400 pixels, at 300 ppi, how large is that image in inches? How big would it be when printed, which I know it's going to be printed because the resolution is 300? Pause the video and then you're ready. Push play to see the answer. Okay, so our formula is the number of pixels, both horizontally and vertically, divided by the resolution. In this case, it's 300. 3,600 pixels divided by 300 creates an image that's 12 inches across, and 5,400 pixels divided by 300 creates an image that's 18 inches tall, which is a pretty decent size if you're making a tabloid poster. Uh, if I wanted to make a movie poster that's 24 by 36 inches, there's no way this image would look nice. But if I just want to print it, let's say on an 11 by 17 tabloid sheet of paper, I'm good to go. Okay, so how does resolution affect image quality? I've been throwing out these, these values, 72 ppi, 300 ppi, um, what does that mean? Well, resolution is the key determining factor in evaluating image quality in raster images. I say raster images because in graphic arts we have two types of images. We have raster based and vector based. A raster based image is any image made of pixels. Nine times out of ten an image in Photoshop is raster based. There are instances, if you made shapes, uh, that you could use vector images. Any image made in Adobe Illustrator or in Adobe InDesign uh, that's not been placed is vector art. Vector art is made from mathematical formulas. There is no resolution in vector art because there are no pixels, so that's important to remember. In general, images with higher resolutions have higher image quality, but resolution and image quality are also determined by the output device an image is viewed on. So an image at 72 ppi is lower than an image at 300. So you'd say, okay, well, the 300 image is a better image to choose. It's only a better image to choose if the output device that you're intending for your image can handle 300 resolution. So when we print, we shoot for 300 resolution, but when we put something on the internet or on a display device, it can only show us 72 DPI or PPI, whatever you want to call it. So putting an image at 300, yes, it has better image quality, but we're not going to see any difference on a computer monitor.